and welcome to the Freak, or today the Brick Creek, with a big ship that's called the Royal Fleet. Yes, normally a fleet or some more ships, but this is called the Royal Fleet from the Sun, from the company Rio Bricks. The Sun could be an Asian TV series or movie in this century, perhaps Chinese pirates against British Royal Fleet. It looks a little bit like this, because do you see the sun, the, how, it's, how it's printed and how it's designed? That really looks a little bit like it was made for a TV series. I don't know. And uh, I worked a lot of days now in series and I'm really tired and I'm lazy. But if somebody of my viewers know if The Sun is a TV series or a movie, please write it in the comments. I'm really curious. And perhaps after the weekend, if not somebody of you has investigated, I will do it. Okay. Company Rio Bricks. We have the model number 66011. And we have 3,162 lovely pieces and a beautiful, big, impressive ship. I know it's not easy for you to see details. For this, I made the pictures in the beginning. Uh, yes, they are not so good like when I make them in my light box, but. <laughs> This doesn't fit in my light box. I need a bigger light box. Okay, that's one thing I recognized building this set. We have 10 building steps. Uh, the first two, one and two, are in one bag, so that makes no really sense. And three and four are in one bag too. So make eight building steps if you have eight bags, rear bricks. So that makes not really sense, but Okay, instructions are, I say it so, sometimes the things that are interesting are a little bit too small, they could really zoom in a little bit. But the rest is okay. You see, all the new parts are saturated, all the old parts are desaturated, so no problem building it. The only thing is the colors, you need good light. Uh, Rio Bricks has not a good color accuracy from the instructions to the real colors. So, uh, especially the dark brown here, that um, looks more like black in the instructions. But there is not a lot of black in, the, uh, black in the set and a lot of dark brown or much more dark brown. So you will see the difference and you know what you have to do. So no problem to get it together. Um, I would recommend what Rear Brick says something. No. I would say from the 10th year your child can assemble this perhaps with some help here with the structure and the sails and this here in the, bay, in the front that's a little bit, not much, a little bit flimsy but this is more meant as a display set and not a, a, a a play set for children. Obviously it's very big and no minifigs and no toys. Less details inside, a lot of details here outside. You see in the pictures inside is a lot of cannons but not much more. A lot of cannons. So it's on you if you want to say, okay inside doesn't matter. I present it on my display not opened and so it doesn't matter what's inside. All the cannons are functional, all are working, no problem at all. If you want this for your children to play, 
you see it's like a modular I can lift this up here and now I have access to the cannons. Oh, I yes. One second. I made one mistake during assembly with the sails because it's not so easy to see which sail should on which position. So and for the, for the next floors it's the same. You can assemble the next disassemble the next floor and you have access to the lowest. So it's easy to play with the set. And it's not so complicated. Okay? Okay, I believe it's okay. So here are the sails in the middle. This sail should be this here in the front. But I assembled it here and see, okay, that's too big. And when I want to disassemble it, here the rounding around the hole, the tissue around the hole was too thin. And so I destroyed it, removing this cone brick here that holds the thing on position after seeing my mistake. And here I fix it with a comb, so no problem that the tissue is destroyed. Here that's not possible. So okay, that, that here doesn't look so cool, but here we have, when this here is on this here, it's wobbly. So th this looks better, but this here looks a little bit odd. So we, okay, we came to the quality. I've already assembled two Rio bricks um, sets. You have a link in the end. You can click on both of them. And they were very cool. It was, uh, what was it? A medieval uh, smith. And a castle. Yes. And they were very good. And this here is very good too. We have really good piece quality. No problem at all. The clutch power. The color consistency, no problems. This here is really good quality. You can really compare it to Lego from the quality. Only the tiles are a little bit matte and have micro scratches. But sometimes you get this from Lego too, so no problem. And this is absolutely in the upper class of the Chinese brick sets quality. A little bit under mold king, but only a little bit. So no problem, you will have no problems. The most colors are matching to the Lego ones. The blues and the browns and the gold are really, really well compared to Lego. The, the tar is a little bit too bright, but only a little bit. Uh, but the rest really compares very good with the Lego colors. So, okay, we came, or the, the assembly, it took seven and a half or eight hours, not so long for over 3,000 pieces. And some building steps are repetitive, you see it, because you have the same on the other side. So I have to build this goal in here really often. But it's not so repetitive that you want to kill yourself. Um, it's okay. The rest is nice and what you expect from a boat. If you have ever build a sailboat from, from Lego or from another company, you can really compare here the building techniques and everything. There's nothing special. There are no fancy building techniques or there's some things I haven't seen before. Wow, you need to see this. No, this is nothing special from the assembly, but it looks cool. It's an entertaining build. 
and uh, you get a lot of volume and pieces for your money. And Lego doesn't present us a lot of these big sail boats, sail ships, um, smaller pirate ones and the Pirates of the Caribbean series. But if you want something you can chase your Black Pearl with, then this here perhaps is something you want to have. Because together with a pirate or with two pirate ships or something, it will look very cool in the display set. Perhaps with the, the pirate base set from LEGO or from another company that is closer to the original ideas project. Um, inside you can turn and then here our anchor will move inside or up and down. Um, so if you see what you like, uh, if you like what you see, <laughs> then you can buy this. The only thing a little bit are odd are the sales. Some are very like uh, silk here. And you see they are a little bit wobbly. And this here is more like something is on the tissue. I don't know the, the, the English term. But uh, you know what old ladies in earlier days made to get the things really in shape uh, during the iron. And uh, I believe something of this substance is here on our sails, but not on everyone. And in the instructions you don't see really good which shape or which size or uh, should be on which part. So that's the only thing I can complain about. Um, that the, the quality you feel is not the, sa uh, the same. It looks the same, but it doesn't feel the same. And these here you can blow and this here is more sturdy. But that's the only thing. And if you really are into ships, you don't have so much. There are not so much ships you can buy and especially big and nice design chips, if you like gold. Um, but if you like this, this is for five. Ah, okay. Ah, I know, here is. Can I change this? This is meant to be, I believe, on the other side. Okay, that looks better. <laughs> okay, um, if you're into ships and want the ship for five bucks, it doesn't depend if euros or dollars, you can buy better stuff here and make better sales. That are, they have the better shape or they fit more perfect than these here. They are not totally bad. But I have to complain about something and the sales are the only thing I can complain about. The rest is really, really good. I had no missing pieces and I had five uh, spare pieces. Small stuff, but one of these arcs here in dark bluish grey. Uh, but the rest, small stuff. But I have nothing to complain. This is really an entertaining build of good quality and if you like what you see, this is a good set. This is a really good set. I like it. I really like it. And I'm not a fan of gold. Most of you perhaps know this. I often complain about gold and we have a lot of gold here. But for a ship that's from the Royal Fleet, it's okay. I would prefer here these here to close the cannons. Uh, we have stickers for them. I haven't used and the other two are here. These here in dark bluish grey, the flats here, that would look better, eh, not dark bluish grey, in dark blue, perhaps would have a, a better look. But the rest is really Really? Okay, inside no other colors. 
just to explain, uh, if you build only Lego perhaps, this is a surprise for you. You can make sets without vomiting in, or you can design sets that are not looking like a unicorn had vomited into it and all the colors you see outside are inside, no other colors. So no real belief, no deal. Okay. That's it. If you have any questions, write it in the comments. What do you think about it? I want to know from you. And please tell me if The Sun is a movie or a television series. Uh, if I stay long enough what, awake, or if I'm uh, not sleeping in the next two, three hours after cutting the video here, uh, perhaps then I will have a look in the internet. And if I find it, I'll write it in the comments. Okay. You recognized I'm a little bit tired today. This is not my best video, but I wanted to do it for before the weekend, so you have something to watch at the weekend. The next two videos are Technic videos, but they are made in English too. So, for all that complainers that are doing Technic and why not in English? Why Technic and why not in English? If you, if you have to do it, Please do it in English too, so I make the tech videos in English too. Okay, so next week two tech videos and after that I have a Mole King uh, pneumatic set. And uh, from the company Morg is coming the UCS TIE Bomber. Okay, that's enough for today. I am Frank, your Brick Freak. Ask me in the comments if you have any questions and I wish you a nice weekend and I, oh, you want to know the measures, perhaps you haven't watched in the beginning. And I love to measure size. Well, we have 87 centimeters. Highest point. And the width around 16 and twenty more. So that was it. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.